Introducing the HQ2 Hybrid Equalizer from Audio Assault. The HQ2 is a 10-band, multi-band compressor designed with the intuitive workflow of a graphic equalizer. The HQ2 is built around 10 bands of RMS compression, useful for compressing the average level of a signal rather than the peak level. The result is a transparent compression that can bring quiet details up in your mix while achieving consistency in the tone of dynamic source material. This makes the HQ2 ideally suited for instrument buses and the mix bus, where it can help glue your mix together. However, given the 10 bands of multiband compression and the graphic equalizer workflow, the HQ2 is also perfect for a wide range of individual sources. The interface features 10 bands set in intervals of one octave. When the bands are flat, the threshold of that band is set to zero dBFS. Each frequency slider controls the threshold and makeup gain of that band simultaneously. Turning a band down lowers the threshold while attenuating the compressed frequencies in that band. This behavior is reversed when boosting, which still lowers the threshold while bringing up the compressed frequencies in that band. This behavior allows the user to adjust the HQ2 as they would any graphic EQ, while focusing on the resulting sound without being distracted by too many options. To the right of the frequency bands, we find the global compression control. This allows you to adjust the attack, release, and ratio of the RMS compression. The HQ2 features automatic gain compensation on the output that is always on. This allows you to make adjustments without being fooled by changes in output level, which can be helpful in determining whether or not the result really sits better in your mix. This mix is using 33 instances of the HQ2. One on the master bus, one on each of the instrument buses, and one on every individual instrument channel. If we bypass all instances, we can hear that our mix falls apart. Not only has the EQ balance changed, which is to be expected when bypassing 33 EQs, but the instruments have lost weight and consistency that was added by the RMS compression of the HQ2. Since RMS compression affects the average signal level, it's quite useful in evening out the dynamics of a source transparently. This adds fullness to the instruments in the mix while allowing quieter details to cut through. For example, we can bring up the ghost notes of the snare by targeting the fundamental frequency, which is found above 200 Hertz. By boosting the 250 Hz band, we lift the ghost notes in a natural sounding way while solidifying the low end of the snare. An additional boost at 8K can bring out the sizzle of the snares, which can help the snare cut through the mix. Common problem area is bass guitar, which can lose weight when the bassist plays higher notes. This is often remedied through multiband compression applied below 250 hertz to create a solid and consistent low end. We find an example of this when the chorus shifts to the verse and the bass guitar loses weight in the bottom end. can create consistency by compressing the bottom end and bringing it forward in the mix. As we can see, the HQ2 makes 